It's been about a month since I've started my onion juice experiment and it's time to finally update you with my results. So just to recap, I am 10 months postpartum. I stopped nursing my son at six months and I wanted to give myself at least three months um, to let the majority of the hair shedding finish. I'm not even sure if that's the case yet, but it seemed like that was a good time to start this. I know that there can be additional shedding after you nurse, so I just wanted to give myself ample time to start something like this without it making no sense at all. So in this video, I'm going to show you um, some before and after images and videos to see if I experienced any rapid hair growth, a reduction in shedding, and also just to see how my edges did. So if you'd like to see my results, just keep watching. Hey girlfriends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle and this is Disco Curls TV. If you're new here, welcome. My channel provides tips on how to care for your fine curly hair so that you feel empowered and supported during your curly hair journey. I do post weekly and I'd love to have you subscribe and join my little community here because we do curly hair tutorials, product reviews, postpartum hair chat, and much more. So in the last video, I showed you how to make onion juice using the boil method and how to make it without it smelling. This was something I've wanted to do for a really, really long time, but I was just on the fence about it because of the scent. I just did not want to smell like onions. I just thought I would be smelling funky all the time. But in the video I did, I managed to make it without it smelling at all. And if you want to see how I made it, be sure to check the description box. It does have a link to that video. So throughout this month, I made adjustments to a few things. I made adjustments on how how I make the onion juice, I made adjustments on how I apply the onion juice, and I made adjustments on how long I kept the onion juice on my hair. It kind of seemed like every week I was trying something a little bit different to improve it. So for example, the first video I made, I used two small onions, but you could use one regular size onion. Um, I used quite a bit of water for that one, and I used a applicator bottle that's something that you would use for hair dye but it actually wasn't an applicator bottle <laughs> it was for salad dressing and it was kind of a mess because it was pouring out so quickly because the liquid itself is just really watery it's not like a thick texture or anything so i adjusted that and i moved from the applicator bottle to a dropper bottle which was much better um, just a little bit more precise in the application it took a little longer to cover the large area on your scalp but for me, it was better than it running into my eyes or down my neck or anything like that. And then the third week I did it, I remember I used a spray bottle. And the spray bottle was something that someone here commented and said, why don't you use a spray bottle, girl? I was like, oh, that's smart. Why didn't I think of that? So the spray bottle seemed to be the easiest way to do it. And it's what I've continued to do since then. So let me just go back here. So the first week I used um, a little bit too much water with two small onions. Second week I used... Um, one small onion and just a lot less water and it, I don't feel like it was as potent. So during the third week I used two onions and a much lower amount of water in the pot and I left it on for 30 minutes. It wasn't until this last week um, when I sprayed my hair with the more potent mix of two onions and a lot less water. Um, I sprayed my roots with it and then I added a deep conditioner from like here down um, because I realized that you guys know anybody that's been watching my channel for a long time knows that I am so overdue for a trim or a haircut. I need to do something about these ends and so I just felt like I needed to have a much gentler detangling session in the shower. Um, so I went ahead and just, I put that on for like an hour. So I put the onion juice on and then the deep conditioner here, I put it in a shower cap for an hour. And then when I went into the shower, I saw the most dramatic results. So just by doing that process, I feel like leaving it on for an hour made a huge difference in the amount I shed it. I'm going to show you the actual plastic baggies I've kept over the last month um, so that you can see the results as well. Okay, so this is from 1010. You're not gonna be able to see this, so I'm gonna have to take it out of the bag. 1010's when I started. 10, 10, first day, pretty average amount of what I've been losing in the shower. And then we move on to 10, 14, which was four days later when I washed my hair again. I did not use onion juice, but I had some really nice results. I think it's a lot less just because I used onion juice earlier that week, but it's not anything crazy. And then 10, 19, this is when I started using one onion 
and a lot less water, but the mixture wasn't as potent. And I didn't really feel like I saw a difference. This is from the 24th and I didn't see much of a difference. I did not use onion juice that day. And then this is from the 28th. This is actually a smaller amount of hair and I did use onion juice on that day. Okay, this is from 11 too. I felt like it was a little bit more than normal, which kind of surprised me as I've been using this, but I did not use onion juice that day. And the big surprise was from 11.7 which was almost a month, but you can see there, this is a lot less than what I'm used to losing. So dramatically different. I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side comparison because I think that really is going to kind of demonstrate how much less it is. I had to find something white to kind of show you, but you can see there's a huge difference within less than a month. Um, so I'm really, really impressed with the shedding results here. Okay, so this is from 1010 and then this is from 117. I think it's pretty dramatic and I can just tell um, holding it like there's just so much more hair in this one. So just from doing all that experimenting, I really feel like doing it for an hour versus 30 minutes made a huge difference. Of course, adding the deep conditioner was going to help with a lot of the gentle detangling, but just the amount of shedding was a lot better. I wash my hair twice per week. One of those days I used the onion juice, the other I did not. It could be like a cumulative result from using it over the last month or it could just be from using it for an hour that particular day, I'm not quite sure. So let's talk about my edges. Did I see an improvement over this last month? Here's an image of my edges on day one of using onion juice. My hair was washed that day and you are seeing it in the drying state. And here's an image of my hairline from the most recent onion juice rinse. What do you guys think? Lastly, let's take a before and after look to see if I experienced any crazy hair growth. Now, before I get into this, let me just say that I messed up and I probably should have measured the length of my hair. I didn't do that, but I managed to take a video of me pulling down my hair to show you where my wet hair was when it was stretched out on day one. As you can see, it's directly under my chest. I also took some photos of my hair in the wet stage on day one and day 15. Now let's look at some more recent photos and videos and compare it to day one. The video shows that my hair is a little below my chest, but not by much. I don't think I would consider this anything outside of normal hair growth, but it may be that my hair needs to stop shedding before it really starts growing. And that leads me to my next question, specifically for you all, should I continue doing this? I ask for a couple reasons. The first reason is because I am not 100% sure my hair is done shedding from having the baby. Secondly, I desperately need a trim and I feel like if you're watching these videos for growth purposes then I am doing you a disservice because I should probably have started this off um, by getting a nice healthy trim, um, measuring out my hair the first time, and then going on from there. But right now I'm in a situation where I have to get a haircut or a trim, that's what I plan to do you guys, um, before the end of this year because I've been slacking on it so bad um, and in some ways I'm just gonna be starting over for the growth purposes, but for the shedding I can continue this. I just can't tell if this shedding is from breakage or just from unnecessary hair loss due to me slacking on the trim. I honestly have no problem stopping this and trying this at a later time when my hormones are leveled, um, when I get my hair trimmed, and then just doing like a whole 90 days for you guys and just kind of presenting it to you as opposed to just going monthly. So you guys just let me know what you think. Or, or <laughs> I could continue and try some new methods. So I have a few thoughts. I could do the blend method, which is not what I'm doing now. I'm doing the boil method because I feel like it's less stinky possibly, but I could be wrong. Um, the blend method is where you put those onions um, in the blender and you kind of squeeze out the juice and cheesecloth. Um, I know I can still add my essential oils to kind of kill the scent, but I'm still kind of nervous. Um, I just feel like it's going to be more potent and more stinky, and I do not want to smell like onions. <laughs> so I could try that just as an experiment. I could also just continue with the boil method and maybe up it to two times per week. Or I could continue with the boil method and maybe add garlic to it because it does have a lot of the same properties that onions do. So I'd love to get your feedback on all of this. Should I continue number one? And if so, which method would you like me to try? Do you want me to stick with the boil method? Do you want me to start up the blend method? Do you want me to try any of those combinations with the boil method, please let me know down below in the comments. So that's about it for this video. If you loved it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you are properly notified of when I post new content. That's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.